think it's important to address that we need to continue with the preventive measure for the coronavirus. Um, obviously, the social distancing, um, continue with your mask, hand washing. I do think it's important to enforce the fact that we are now on a phase one of this process, which is something that is not really talked about or mentioned. Um, one of those would be the new openings of restaurants, um, malls, and stores. So I want the patients to keep in mind to continue doing what we're recommending, which is the social distancing, continue with the mask, the hand washing, uh, travel. A lot of patients are coming in and asking about if they can travel. Um, what I would recommend, don't do it unless you have to. Um, if you really do have to go, I would suggest uh, driving versus getting on a plane. If you have to get on a plane, then you know continue with the preventive measures. Um, I want to. I want the patients to know and the community to know that um, it's important to keep in mind that we're going through different phases, and this is the first one, and I think it's the most important one to consider on how our lives um, have to be adjusted within the next year or so because we're anticipating that this is going to be a long process. Um, just because we're opening locations and open opening places doesn't mean that we can go ahead and freely be out and about without preventive measures. So that would be uh, primarily my main message to the community is to continue with everything that we're asking for. And we um, in the offices are doing the same. We're being cautious with the patients and um, also our staff, making sure that our staff are protective and ourselves too. Um, we are a big community um, and we have to protect not just the patients, but our uh, medical staff, uh, the front desk staff. Um, so those are things that I think we're, you know, we're doing pretty good.